As we are ready for first pitch, a six foot eight inch righty. And that one is just off the plate at 94 miles an hour. Leads the team in RBI. As he pops this one out towards right, it's drifting though. It's continuing to go. Evans is at the wall and this is gonna get out of here. A towering shot as the wind blows out that way. Evans just ran out of room. And for the fourth time this year, Shanuel leaves the yard. Yeah, you know, John McCormick was raving about this kid. He said this kid could possibly go in the first round. First pitch is drilled. Deep center field. DeBose running back, and he's not going to get this one. Halfway up the batter's eye. Rivera homers in his second consecutive at bat. His sixth of the year. And the Gators, just like that, off to a 3-1 lead. And he drills it. Deep left center field. Hardigan going back to the track, to the wall. Bye, bye, baseball. Second three-run homer of the inning. It's Shell Nuts third of the year. And the Gators put up a six spot here in inning number one. Say it with me. Juggernaut. And this ball is smoked. Straight away center field. Robertson back to the wall, and it's out of here. So Shanuel likes Tejeda Jr.'s pitching, and he has hit two home runs off of him. A solo shot in the first, and now a three-run shot, and the Owls are right back in it. That's what I talked about. A big out to get, and Goldstein wasn't able to do it. But Evans gets a hold of this one. Deep center field, DeBose to the back, to the track, to the wall. It's gone again. Well, that is the first time that Evans has hit a homer this year that wasn't a walk-off. But he goes just to the right of the batter's eye, and the Gators get one back. Well, they forewent the changeup back-to-back, went fastball, and paid for it. And that is going to bring in at least one. A liner to left, Langford will come pick it up and quickly get it in. But how about that? The nine-hole hitter that had driven in just one all year, singles, and it's now just a two-run game. Went back to it. Gators have a chance for two. They'll go to Rivera for one, but turned pretty slowly, and you got the leadoff man, Albert, running. So the Gators do, in fact, get that ground ball, get one. Fastball jams him and is going to fall in for a base hit. Well, how about the aluminum bat? Goldstein used it perfectly right there, and that little bloop single is going to tie this game at seven apiece. Hard line drive over the second baseman his last time up. A little slow roller here. That's going to be a tough play for everybody. Gators are just going to have to let it roll out, and it'll stay in play, and the Owls are going to take the lead. So Slater's given up a swinging bunt. Adams ready for the one-two. That's chopped out towards second. Curlin has it. Tries to make the tag. Can't. Will throw to first to get at least an out, but another RBI ground out as the Owls will score again. It's a five-run fourth inning. The one-one pitch. That one not going to leave the yard, but it's going to do its job. DuBose will drift over. He'll make the catch. Tagging from third will be Curlin. Langford will tag as well. The ball's going to get away, and that's going to actually allow... Caglione to get into scoring position. So a productive out for Rivera. He's got his fourth RBI of the night. And teammates on every bag here. He's going to get another one and not have to do anything. So two hit batters, two walks in the inning. And we were talking about the Gators' struggles in relief. And they might right here as Caglione will in fact score on a wild pitch. And he's got a chance to get another one. Deep fly to left. Hard going to look up and watch it leave the yard. The second three-run homer of the night for Josh Rivera. He's got seven now on the year and seven RBI on the night. Well, I said it in our first broadcast this year. I think him coming back, to me, was as big as anything in the offseason. His last time up. This one's hit pretty well. Again, Evans 
is going to try to get to it in the gap, but it's going to leave the yard. How about this guy? A three-homer day for Nolan Chanuel. Have yourself a night. Well, he's everything John McCormick said he was. Very special hitter. Another breaking ball hit hard and off the glove. That'll find center field. One run's going to score. Robertson around in third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. And Langford with a knock right back up the middle. We'll drive in a couple. And the Gators now lead it by five. The 3-2 pitch again, right back up the middle. Rivera's going to drive in one. Here comes Langford, make it two. And how about Josh Rivera, a seven RBI night, add two more. That makes it nine, and the Gators are up seven. And that ball is smoked again. DeBose, though, will run it down. He has been a busy man tonight and up to the challenge on all of them. So Ryapel, a sack fly. A couple days later, we'll see what he can do as Jackson Ross steps in and hits one really well out to left. And just like that, it leaves the stadium. Ross homers for the fifth time this year. And Neely gets greeted with a home run. That's the fourth hit of the night for Ross. Three singles and now a homer. Well, he's had quite a night. Neely trying to finish it off, and he does. Ballpark. All right, we're ready to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy it. And Tyler, and it'll stay that way as this one is a little chopper out towards first. Caglione hustling, though. He's going to beat it. An infield single for Jack. And the Gators are going to get on the board first as Halter comes in and scores. you got to love that hustle. Halter hits it in the same spot. That'll go off the glove. And round in third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man is Robertson. The throw's going to get airmailed all the way into the dugout, so that's going to be another run for the Gators as Goldstein thought he was playing catch with the second deck. Oh, one one pitch is hit out towards right. Goldstein will retreat, come in. Gators will try to track. Here's the throw. Better this time, but a head first slide by Halter, and the bottom part of the order has scored three runs here in the bottom of the fourth inning as Curlin will get the sack fly. Uh-oh. Might have been fighting words. <laughs> Here's Ryapel. He smokes one. Out towards left. Hardigan trying to get there. He won't. It's right off the edge of the wall. Caglione will easily score. Rivera round in third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. And Ryapel goes oppo. Breaking ball misses. Well, the Gators were trying to double steal. Ryapel is going to get thrown out, but the ball is dropped, so he'll score. How about that? Pendleton just couldn't hang on to it. First, a 3-2 pitch, and he lost Holter. Vandy is actually has the worst batting average out of any SEC team. They're hitting just 250 played in this year. And he'll finally get a hit. Took an inside fastball and drove it through, so... He ended an 11-game hitting streak yesterday, but he gets a new one started today. Another fastball, and it misses, so he got a hold of one. If it's fair, it's over, and that's exactly what happened. A grand slam walk-off for Jack Caglione, his 11th homer. That is, again, tied for the lead in the entire country. And the Gators are walking out of here tonight with an 11-0 victory over the Owls. Well, he stuck to the script, didn't he, partner? He did.